Hey guys, so um, I was about to go to bed because I just got in. I thought, you know what, I'll check my emails and shit. Check YouTube before I go to bed. And uh, I saw this. And I I was thinking about talking about this in a video a couple of days ago. And I decided, you know what, it wasn't really my place. It's not my business. But the hate is getting is too much. And I just wanted to give my opinion on this. And my opinion on this is very simply, stop harassing him. The fact is that these are allegations, there is no evidence that he's actually done anything yet, so please listen. There is no hardcore evidence against him. It is one person's word against another person's word. Either one of them could be lying, but that doesn't change the fact that there is no evidence to begin with. There is no evidence to be proving anything. And this could very easily be... Could very easily be another case of somebody pretending to have been sexually abused to get YouTube views or to get somebody that they don't like harassed and bullied. Pretty much what I'm saying is rather than going to Tumblr and saying oh this person raped me or this person abused me tell the fucking police. If the police don't take it up then that's their decision. But the fact is that you're going to the internet when you should be going to the police. You don't say anywhere that the police denied your claim. You just come out on YouTube and say, oh yeah, he did this. Yeah, totally true. Totally happened. And so, until you show evidence, I'm not going to believe you. I'm just going to see you as someone who's begging for attention. So feel free to leave actual evidence that this happened. But until then, I'm on Toby's side. I'm not even a subscriber of Toby's. I didn't even know who he was until a couple of days ago. But leave him the fuck alone until actual evidence is given. And then let the police deal with it. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.